No, that's a little project I'm working after I win. So yeah. awesome. Yeah. Kid Rock did that. Uh, he's got a museum in Detroit. Oh, really? Um, I bet it is in my office. Amazing. Dude, that, that photo right there is yeah. amazing. That's yeah. good. Because there's so many, you know, from Motown to Madonna. I mean, you don't know, realize Bob Seger, there were so many Detroit um, people. Yes, they have a rich history as well. Rich, you know, richer than ours. Is your yeah. gallery closed over here? Yes, it's closed at the moment. All right. I'm going to try to see. Yeah. Hey, you know, age before beauty, right? Oh, all right. right. <laughs> that was just a joke. That was just a joke. I got you, sir. <laughs> age before beauty. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, I'm living that dream, dude. How you doing? All right, sir. How are you? Oh, I'm living the dream. Thanks for asking. Living the dream. Yes, sir. That's all we can do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's it going? How's it going? Are you media? I'm with this. I'm with these people. Who's that people? Uh, Suncoast Jazz Festival. All right, it's nice. Sort of a proclamation. Yeah. The mayor is going to do a proclamation declaring this Suncoast Jazz Festival week. Oh yeah. Well, such when when are they going to declare an open carry week? Oh, I don't know. You could raise that. During yeah, the I'm going to raise it because I'm an open carry guy. How's it going, Mr. Maxwell? Yep. Uh, and um, you are? Mr. Maxwell. Mike I know Maxwell, but uh, of who? I'm sorry. You, who do you work for? City clerk. City clerk, council member of what district? I'm, sorry, I'm the city, I'm the interim city manager. Interim city manager? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect, thank you. How's it going? Fine, and, thanks. And who are you? I'm the mayor of the city. Mayor of the city? Awesome, awesome, thank you. And um, your name is? Hibbard. Hibbard? I, I just, I didn't want to butcher your name. I'm That's just, okay, people all right, do. Perfect. Yeah, they it, call me worse. Uh, I'm not gonna call you worse, I'm just gonna so. be a nice guy. And your name? Kathleen Beckman. Nice, and you are the council member or mayor or? I'm a council member. Of, of what mayor. district? Uh, we don't have districts in Clearwater. Really? We're all at large. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so you're just a council member of Clearwater. That's right. All right, and you are? I am council member Mark Bunker, and I, I take it you're the armed fisherman? Um, it's very possible. I'm not going to disclose my information before I get to there, but yes, I, I uh, probably am that guy. Okay. All right. And well, you I'm on the record as, as saying, to be sure it's legal, but it's stupid. So that's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Feel free to use well, that in the I, video. I didn't ask for anything, but you just you just went on a I on did. public record saying what I do is stupid. Exactly. Okay. I All right, I just wanna exactly. I just wanna make it clear. You know rolling, so. No, 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 it's fine. It just just to make it clear that you said what I do and the honor that you swore to uphold mm -hmm. is stupid. Uh, well, did you swear and uphold to defend the Constitution of the United States? Yeah, it, 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 it Okay, then, then what's the problem? Your right to, to be well, then what's the problem? That, well, that's why I just told you. That it's you stupid, know, what right? What you're doing is legal, but it's stupid. Okay. Uh, you're sounding like a great... Mr. Bunk <laughs> Bunker. I don't know that Okay. Uh, well, don't do this because you don't even deserve to friggin' salute. That's not nice. Well, I'm just saying, if you swore to defend my oath or my right, then you would not salute and say what I do is stupid. You know. Okay, we're gonna agree to disagree, right? We'll agree to disagree. Yeah, and that's perfect. And that's it is okay, but it it makes no makes no sense why somebody that would swear to uphold and defend the Constitution and somebody carrying. 
the Second Amendment right is stupid. That doesn't make sense to me. But hey, we'll agree to disagree. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. You will. Don't forget, hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. Can you hear it? Don't forget, hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. How are you doing, How's sir? I'm doing good. How are you? And, and, you're, and I'm not sure who you are. Sure, no problem. David Margolis, city attorney. Oh, we got to shake your hands. We got to no do the pound of yep, you got COVID, it. whatever, blah, blah, blah. No problem. But um, what do you do here? I'm the attorney. I love you because you, everything I put in my video that you've probably seen, you know is right. And I know you're not going to answer that question because, you know, that's the attorney thing. But, uh, but what I am saying is if you have seen the video, I hope that you realize and hope that there's training going forward. That's what I would ask is going forward from this is that there's training. I understand the request. And that's all I could ask for. I understand. As an attorney from a American citizen that has the right to bear arms, and the right to openly carry while engaged in fishing, hunting, or camping, I hope that you explain to them as the police enforcement that what I'm doing is lawful and they need better education. I understand the ask. Thank you. I'm doing fine, thanks. Why do you keep saying it's stupid, sir? It's because you're, you're carrying around. I'm carrying around a firearm that is under the Second the Amendment. I don't think that you should be behind this desk right now, sir. If you, I swear or affirm that I would uphold and defend the Constitution, the Constitution of Florida, right? Sure. And then you're you're saying what I'm saying is stupid. No, I didn't. You did. I didn't say what you are saying. What I'm what I'm doing is stupid. What I what I do yeah, is I stupid. stupid. Okay, you but that's do. That's my opinion. As a as a public official, mm -hmm. I don't think you need to be behind this desk because you swore Here to I defend am. my right. You swore an oath to defend my right. Well, you don't live in oh, that's, Clearwater. That's what you're I live in the state of Florida. Okay. Yeah. You you swear and affirm to defend the Constitution of you not the. Have I stopped you? Am I stopping you? They did. I see. And then you just called me stupid for doing what I'm doing. I see. Yeah, I do. Well, the actions are stupid. It's not. Yeah. Uh, God yeah. bless America. There you go. Dude. Okay. I, I just, I'm, I'm legitimately trying to be, I've tried, I'm, I'm trying to be cordial and calm. Uh, with that shirt. Yeah. If my rights offend uh, you, fuck off. I'm not I'm not gonna be nice about it. I wasn't nice about it then and I won't be nice about it. You're you're you know, you you're the legal right to your that. your lieutenants, your lieutenants, detectives, and four other officers decided to violate my constitutional rights. Were you arrested? Yeah, I was I was handcuffed, thrown in the back of a car for over an hour. Is that not being arrested or is that is that just being detained? How would you yeah. feel? How would you feel? I, you know, I've been arrested. Have you? Yeah. Oh, I take and, and what's your first and last name? So I can, I, I'm going to do a public records request on your arrest. Sure. I was arrested in Chicago back in 2000. Okay. Uh, for supposedly uh, a trespassing at the Church of Scientology when I was on the sidewalk. Scientology has spent a lot of money to shut me down because I say something negative. You were you were so fighting for your constitutional what? rights. You were fighting for a constitutional right and your rights were violated. They Correct? Were, I, and, I'm, I was out doing what I was allowed to do at under my constitutional protected activities. Yeah. And but you're you know saying you're I'm stupid. I didn't hurt anybody. I didn't say you hurt did you, anybody. Did you see the 47 minute I video? I didn't say you hurt anybody. Dude, I was getting fist, fist pounds from everybody. I was sitting there talking to everybody. Not everybody. And, and there are people who walked away because. They and saw and if those people gone. walked away, I let them walk away. I didn't. Uh, I didn't well, thank try you for not shooting them dead. I. <laughs> I've got 400 videos and I've never shot one person. I hope so. I would never. I would hope that's the case. That is the case. Yeah. So where's my constitutional rights being? Where have I violated somebody else's? 
you're, you're you're still allowed to do the stupid thing that you do. I'm not stopping Dude. you. Dude, are you the mayor? No. No, I'm the mayor. No, Blaine. We're gonna <laughs> uh, start the meeting momentarily. Yeah, yeah. I I really do, but and I, I really hope. You can have I I would love to have a conversation with you. Seriously, a serious conversation about this gentleman because what he's saying and and the fact that this gentleman, he's joking. He's laughing and joking about my constitutional rights that he swore an oath, just like you swore an oath to defend my rights. This guy's laughing and joking and calling me stupid. This is not funny. This is not a joke for me. I have almost been shot and almost killed because of a constitutional right. What is your last name? I've said it in, in the video. Well, just give me your last name. My, so vid my name is in the video that is going to be, I say my name and where What's I'm from. What's your first name? My name's Mike. Okay, Mike. We're going to start in just a minute. No worries, dude. And sense until, sense? That, until that part happens, I may just want to sit in front of Mr. Bunker here and just keep having a conversation with him because he seems like to be what we call a tyrant. A tyrant. At some point, though, I'm going to start he's the meeting. Sitting, yeah, and when that happens, and I'll go sit my happy ass there. in that chair. Okay. But Mr. Bunker... You know, people call me wise beard man. They, they seldom call me a tyrant. But, uh, you know, I mm -hmm. appreciate it. But you, you should take a seat now, and you'll have a chance to speak. Don't tell me what to do. You work for me. I don't work for you. We, we have you get that? To you get, I know. And when, when Mr. Hibbert says, Mike, you need to go sit down because we're about to start the meeting, I will gladly go sit in my chair. But until then, I'm going to just keep this camera, and if you would like to say anything to all my subscribers, all 55,000 of them, please keep saying how stupid I am for doing what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know why it's important to carry assault rifles onto a beach or take them into a restaurant or do anything that you're legally allowed to do. I just don't. But I'm not stopping you from doing it. I personally think it's stupid. And that's my right as an American and as a Floridian and as a council member to have No, opinion. it's not. You are a sworn officer of the state of Florida. You have an oath right, that I'm you... Right, not breaking any law by saying that your actions are stupid. You swore an oath to defend what I'm doing. You should be saying, hey, I may not agree with it, but guess what? It is his right. Yeah, no, and I you're just, you keep saying I'm stupid. Yeah, I, I don't think Thank I you. said uh, Thank you. that you should stop. I just said, One minute. you know. You keep stupid. saying I'm stupid for doing it. Well, I'm saying your actions are stupid. Well, I, I just visited your peer again today, and a lot of people didn't think I, I was stupid for doing what I was doing. Okay. And, that, and your citizens, that's, that's the citizens of your clear water Residents, thank you, sir. Thank you. How's it going, man? Chief, please. Yes, sir. Don't tell me what to do, man. Please. I'm very respectful, but when people tell me what to do and how to do it I'm not gonna listen to you I, I'm trying to be respectful I, just like I was respectful to them I'll be respectful to you but you're telling me what to do so I hope you're training your officers just like they learned today
the wonderful diversity of talents and gifts, the wide array of races and cultures that come together to uh, pursue life opportunities and to share it with one another. Lord, we ask your blessings upon the city council. We thank you for each person who is willing to serve in this role, uh, with the gifts and the abilities you've bestowed upon them. Give them wisdom and understanding, compassion, and a sense of decisions for them, the responsibility that they have, the opportunities uh, that present themselves, and the challenges that are sure to come. We pray for the flourishing and the prosperity of life for every person, and know that in every neighborhood, in every street, in every house, in each person, they are precious in your sight. So we ask your blessings upon this meeting and the work that will take place. And Lord, we thank you that you take us seriously, that you meet us where we are amidst the ups and downs, the twists and turns of life. You love us no matter what. And we offer this prayer to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Dr. Beans. I appreciate you coming out this evening. You're welcome. Those inspiring words.